Welcome to a Lean Stacks instructional video. This video is part of the Spring Boot series. This is the second video about creating RESTful web services. In the first video, we created a simple model object and web service to return all of those models. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to build RESTful web services to find a specific entity model and how to create, update, and delete models. Let's get started. I've opened the sample Spring Boot application in the Spring Tool Suite. In case you've not seen the previous video in this series, we've created a model class named Greeting and a RESTful web service controller named Greeting Controller. At the top of Greeting Controller, we have some temporary hard-coded helper methods to manage a static collection of greeting objects. These temporary methods will be eliminated in a later video in this series. Now let's create a web service endpoint that returns only the greeting object that matches a supplied primary key identifier. Create a new method named getGreeting. Annotate the method with at request mapping. The method element indicates that this web service endpoint will only service HTTP GET requests. The produces element tells Spring to generate JSON in the HTTP response body. Let's discuss the value element. It contains a variable delimited by curly braces. This is called a path variable. The value from this variable may be passed as a method parameter annotated by at path variable. In this case, the primary key identifier of a greeting object will be supplied in the web service request URL. We capture that value from the URL path and make it available to our code as a method parameter. Now let's add the method logic. We get the greeting object from the static map of greetings that matches the supplied pseudo primary key identifier. If there's no greeting in the map matching the primary key identifier, we create and return a response entity with just an HTTP status enum value of not found, or 404. If there is a greeting found in the map, we create and return a response entity with the greeting object and an HTTP status enum value of OK, or 200. Spring converts the greeting object to JSON and inserts it in the HTTP response body. Let's see the get greeting service in action. Open a terminal window and navigate to the base directory of the project. Type mvn spring boot run to start the embedded Apache Tomcat server on port 8080. Next, open a browser and go to localhost 8080-api-greetings-1. This URL requests the greeting object with primary key identifier value of 1. The web service returns the JSON representation of the greeting with number 1. Next, let's create a web service endpoint to create new greeting objects and save them into our temporary hash map data store. Create a new method named createGreeting. Annotate the method with at request mapping. The value element is the same as was used for fetching all of the greetings. However, the HTTP method is POST. Notice that the new CONSUMES element indicates the web service expects to receive the HTTP request body with JSON. The method contains a single attribute. It is a greeting object annotated with at request body. This tells Spring to convert the JSON in the request body into a greeting object. Now let's add the method body. Use the temporary save helper method 
to add the greeting to the hash map. The helper method assigns a new primary key identifier to the greeting and returns the updated greeting object. The method returns the greeting object containing a primary key identifier from the web service. The HTTP status created is used returning a status code of 201. Let's see the Create Greeting Web Service in action. Open a terminal window and start the application again. This time, I need to send a POST request, so I'm going to use a Chrome RESTful Web Service plugin named Postman. I've created a POST request with a JSON request body to create a new greeting object. I'll send the Web Service request to our application. The web service returns the JSON representation of greeting number 3, the new saved greeting. Next, let's create a web service to update an existing greeting. To do that, we first need to modify the save helper method. Add logic to see if the greeting object to be saved already has a primary key identifier assigned. If it does, we'll try to update it rather than creating a new one. Get the greeting from the map which matches the primary key identifier of the greeting to be updated. If there's no greeting in the map matching that ID, then return null. Otherwise, remove the old greeting from the map and place the new updated greeting into the map and return the new greeting. Now let's create a new method named update greeting. Annotate the method with at request mapping. The value element is the same as was used for fetching a single greeting. However, the HTTP method is put. Like create greeting, this web service also expects the HTTP request body to contain JSON, which is converted into a greeting object. Now let's add the method body. Use the temporary save helper method to update the greeting in the hash map. If the save method returns null, we return an internal service error or HTTP status code of 500 to indicate there's a problem with the request. Otherwise, we'll return a response entity containing the updated greeting object and an HTTP status code of OK or 200. Let's see the update greeting web service in action. Open a terminal window and start the application again. This time, I need to send a PUT request. I'll open my RESTful web service client again 
I've created a put request with a JSON request body to update an existing greeting object. I'll send the web service request to our application. The web service returns the JSON representation of the updated greeting. Now, if I run the web service to fetch all greetings, we see the updated greeting in the response. Next, let's create a web service method to delete a greeting. To do that, we first need to create a delete helper method. The delete helper method will simulate the same method exposed by a Spring Data repository. In a later video in this series, we will replace these temporary methods with a Spring Data repository. The delete method simply removes the greeting from the hash map. If the supply greeting does not exist in the hash map, the method returns false. Otherwise, it returns true to indicate that the greeting was successfully deleted. Now let's create a new method named delete greeting. Annotate the method with at request mapping. The value element is the same as was used for fetching a single greeting. However, the HTTP method is delete. This web service also expects the HTTP request body to contain JSON which is converted into a greeting object. Now let's add the method body. Use the temporary delete method helper to remove the greeting from the hash map. If the delete method returns false, we, sent, we return an internal server error or HTTP status code 500 to indicate there was a problem with the request. Otherwise, return no content or HTTP status 204 to indicate the greeting was deleted and the web service response body is empty. Let's see the delete greeting web service in action. Open the terminal window and start the application again. This time I need to send a delete request. I'll open my RESTful web service client again. I've created a delete request with a JSON request body to remove an existing greeting object. I'll send the web service request to our application. The web service returns status code 204 indicating the greeting was deleted. Now if I run the web service to fetch all greetings, we see that greeting number 2 no longer exists. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Look for more videos in the Spring Boot series to learn how to create environment-specific configurations using Spring Profiles, how to create scheduled batch processes, and how to use Spring Data for data persistence. As always, go to LeanStacks.com for more information.